What is going on everybody and welcome to a new video my name is flawless reaper and today i'm gonna be bringing you guys my opinion on is battlefield 1 gonna kill the call of duty scene for this year now i'm gonna be covering a few topics basically that's gonna be my main topic but i'm gonna be covering a few points about it and definitely let me know in the comment section what you guys think if you guys think that i'm right or if you guys think that i'm actually wrong definitely let me know your opinion in the comment section below and let's break it down basically why i believe battlefield 1 will destroy call of duty in terms of more people playing online and just overall a better game and i'm comparing infinite warfare i'm not comparing cod 4 because cod 4 is actually not a new call of duty i don't care if it's remastered it's definitely not a new call of duty so you cannot really consider it it's basically just the the same call of duty with a couple of touch-ups and things like that but the same idea so i'm not comparing that also a good point is that world war one is an amazing theme and that's something we've always wanted to have in call of duty like right now like 2014 15 16 that's pretty much what we wanted but all we've been getting is futuristic bullshit now i don't understand why they've been doing this i know we are moving towards the future in actual life and our technology has been increasing a whole bunch and it would be really cool to play with all these high-tech things but definitely not for call of duty the name says it itself call of duty we don't want to play space warfare and things like that it's definitely fun i feel like there should be an option between call of duties where you can kind of like move into the future and play that side of multiplayer and then you can go back to the whole world war one world war two like that'd be an insane game so basically it would be two and one that's just a crazy idea that i have um that will probably never happen but overall world war one is an amazing theme and i'm glad ubisoft did it they have been very innovative about it the weapons are insane also guys there is a lot more action happening in battlefield 1 than infinite warfare as we all know the beta was released of infinite warfare i did get a couple of streams and a couple of gameplays so i'll definitely leave links below to the streams i was playing with the guys so you guys should definitely enjoy those videos also in terms of more fun you can actually play with airplanes here shoot people down destroy tanks play with tanks which is really fun in call of duty you don't see that anymore you don't get to go inside a freaking tank and blow the hell out of the enemy team or destroy a whole building especially in battlefield one it's actually the most destructive battlefield yet i believe so you can definitely destroy almost everything with those tanks and those airplanes are incredibly hard to fly but they're insanely good to play with it's very very fun and it's very hectic i really enjoy that also there's no streaks none of that bullshit in battlefield which i really love that you actually just get to run and gun play the objective play with your teammates take in vehicles and basically have a better experience than going for kills trying to get on some kind of a kill streak and getting these awful score streaks or kill streaks in infinite warfare which they're actually super terrible i don't know if my placement is just bad but they're just overall terrible streaks when my placement is on point they're just insanely bad and they don't get any kills now although it was a beta and i'm being a little bit harsh about it they don't have that much time to fix literally every error in the game so overall the beta kind of shows you a good copy about the game although it's not every single thing that's going to be coming out in the game they're obviously going to tweak different things and but we never know what things they're going to tweak maybe the streaks stay exactly the same we never know infinity war has different views on things than we do also we hate the futuristic bullshit we love boots on the ground they didn't know we loved bo2 it was one of the best call of duties yet and it's actually my favorite call of duty now advanced warfare was not a bad title either i really enjoyed that that's when they started introducing supply jobs which is something that has been killing the call of duty scene and has been making youtubers a little bit more rich than they were before now because a lot of people want to see supply job openings a lot of youtubers have been opening those with like two thousand three thousand dollars and yet they still don't get what they want which is absolutely absurd i feel like you should waste let's say if you want the aw speakeasy the asm1 speakeasy and you pay let's say fifty dollars you are a hundred percent able to get it I mean, you're basically paying $100 for a freaking weapon. Now, I know that's insanely expensive, but I feel like they should actually do that. Not exactly the price cap, but I feel like they should actually do that in terms of like allowing you to get something 100% if you spend a certain amount of money. And they should be very reasonable about it. That should definitely bring in a lot of people back and help them get the weapons that they want without spending $1,000 like other YouTubers. And then it will actually help out the whole community and they'll still get a ton of money from supply drops. And I feel like that's a really great idea also the guns are cooler in world war one than they are right now even though infinite warfare has introduced a couple of energy weapons that are not that bad i really hate the whole uh new ak-47 
remake which is actually called the Volk I highly hate that weapon um, especially because we couldn't put any attachments in the beta which was really weird I didn't really like the whole remake that you had to have an energy weapon which is not that cool I really wanted the old classic AK-47 feel to it. Just put actual bullets. It doesn't have to be all realistic. Definitely make the game a little bit better. I definitely expect Battlefield 1 to destroy Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty this year. Definitely let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.